Hi, I'm Melissa Ray, Chief Sustainability Officer of Sustain Life. In this video, we're going to talk about two terms, carbon neutrality and net zero, which are often used interchangeably, but are actually very different. So that when your company sets climate targets and starts to talk about its goals and progress, you can make sure that you're utilizing the right language. So let's back up here. What do these things have in common? Both carbon neutrality and net zero have to do with balancing an emissions output from an organization or an operation. But the distinguishing factor that hinges for both of these is the use of compensated emissions, AKA offsets. So carbon neutrality allows for the use of offsets. An organization could essentially measure its emissions, purchase offsets, therefore balancing the impact of its own emissions outputs and claim carbon neutrality. It's a great way to get started and have an impact immediately but of course, it doesn't actually result in any reduction from your own emissions, which is what we all need in order to maintain a habitable planet. And that's where net zero comes in. Net zero is actually governed by a real standard by the Science-Based Targets Institute, and it has a couple of detailed requirements. Number one, it requires emissions reductions across scope one, two, and three at 90% across all of those. Again, you can't use offsets to balance that. You have to actually have deep reductions. So we're talking renewable energy, efficiency projects, electrification, et cetera. You also have to have the long and near-term targets that align with the 1.5 degree warming scenario. So again, the targets that you're setting to achieve net zero are actually in line with what we as a global community need in order to maintain a habitable planet. And if you're formally going for the net zero claim, you're going to need to get external verification for your targets and progress, because again, it's a real standard. So in short, whether you're going for carbon neutrality or net zero, make sure that you're using the right term when you talk about your progress, because you wouldn't want to be accused of greenwashing. And if you're ready to get started on your climate goals and actions today, set meaningful targets, come visit us at sustain.life. Thanks for watching.